Hey there! In this video, I'll show you how to start your first sales funnel from scratch within 15 minutes and how to create your bump offers, upsells, downsells, and everything to sell. Let's get started! Alright, so the first step in building our sales funnel is to actually pick a template for the design. So here we have amazing templates that you can start with. But for the sake of the example, let's pick this one. Let's add a name to it. And that's it. We started our first sales funnel. Now it's about customizing that design. Before we do that, you can click on the funnel button on the side and you'll see all the pages that you have inside your funnel. Not only pages, but also pop-ups if you have such. So in this case, in the one product sales funnel, we have a product page, a checkout and a thank you page. So let's start customizing our product page. It's very simple. Everything you do is with your mouse. So you can adjust the column size, you can edit all your text, your images, every element that you see, you can customize. And by clicking once, you can see all the controls you have for each element. So for this example, let's build a funnel for a book. So here we have a cosmetic one, but we can fully transform it to fit any design and product that we want to sell. So let's double click and change the image to the product that we want to sell. In this case, a book. It can be a physical, in this case it will be a digital one, so you can see how that works too. So you can just double click and you have the book selected. You can disable the stretch option so that it fits the container. So you can adjust the height and everything. Now let's change the text to, let's say, my book, my first book uh, title goes here, for example, just to see how easy it is to start customizing. Here we can say, let's say, a summary about the book. Uh, you can change the pricing here to be whatever. So all these things are elements and you can adjust everything with your mouse, double clicking and changing the text and the settings of the elements on the page. Let's say the button, you can just double click, change here to book and start you know, customizing every little aspect. Here we can change again the image to the book that we have. Again, disable the stretch option. And if you don't like a specific section, you can simply delete it by going to the block settings and delete. And instead, you can add a different block by clicking on add block between each two sections. And let's say you want to add a video area. So you can just select the video. Uh, design that you like and you can start customizing it again. You can adjust the source, the text, the buttons, everything you can customize with just your mouse. Now, everything that you built is also great on mobile devices. So you can click on the mobile view and you can see all the different blocks that you have inside scaling down perfectly and you can customize them further if you want. Let's go back. So here we have other sections. At the end, we have um, a section that was just like the above one, but uh, like with one that is coming from the template. So you can clone the ones that we created here and you can just add it at the bottom as well. So we can delete this one and instead add this new one that we just copied. And you don't have to rebuild it. As you can see, it's all the same added here into the bottom of the page. And if you're ready, just click on save. Then you can preview your pages to see how it actually looks. You can see how it looks with all the different elements, animations, the new section that we added, and at the bottom area at the end. All right, so what else we can adjust about the funnel? It's obviously the checkout page where we'll be purchasing the product. So the product page has no distractions. All the pages, all the buttons goes to the page of the checkout where the actual sale will happen. So we can customize that page as well. And in order to customize this page, basically, you can fully change everything about it, of course. But the idea here is to sell the product. And to sell a product, we have to create it first. So you can go to the store, and there is the store area about your whole funnel. Here you can see all the orders, all the products, payment processors, subscriptions, discounts, etc. But in this case, we'll be creating a product. This template comes with a few products um, created as a demo, but you can create your own product here. And in the case of selling a book, a digital one, we can select the digital product type. There you can add a name to the product, to the book, whatever, we we'll just call it one. Uh, you can set up the price, let's say $19, uh, but we want to have it on discount for $14. And then we can select an image on the side. Let's again pick this image um, that we have. Uh, we can select the type of the product, which we already did, a digital product. 
and the digital product is associated with a file that they will download after they purchase the product. So in this case, we can link to a PDF, for example, but uh, we don't have one, so just link to the image that we have for the example. You can track inventory, tag users, and do other things for this product that you want to sell. When you're ready, click on Save Changes. And that created your product as part of the other ones, which again, you can delete by selecting them and clicking on the Delete option. Now, in order to sell, we also have to go to the Store Settings and connect the Payment Processor. This is essential because you will not be able to make a purchase, well, to collect the payment from your customers and then they to make the purchase without the processor. So you can connect Stripe, PayPal or any other payment processor here. For the sake of the example, we'll just enable the bank transfer so that you can see the process because we don't want to connect Stripe right away. Now, if you sell a physical product, don't forget that you need to connect the shipping option. Otherwise, there will be no option for shipping and they will not be able to purchase the product. So make sure you set up one if you sell a physical product. And that's it. This is how simple it was to create our products. And now let's go into our checkout, either from, again, from here, from the funnel steps, or by clicking on the arrow on the top that will navigate to the next step of your funnel. And we can double click again the widget and pre-select which product we will be selling in this checkout. So we'll be selling this product that we just created. And that's it. We can now sell this product in this checkout. Now, let's, for the sake of the example, show you how to create a bump offer. You can click on Edit, and there you can create your bump offer, which is basically a way to upsell another product right before the checkout. So we can here create one, select the product, let's say the dummy product that we uh, had created. Here we can have something like, yes, I want to grab this deal, for example. Here we can have a bump title, bump description that you can set up whatever you want, different design, tagging users when they purchase this um, this product, uh, whatever it is, you can set it up. Now from here you can select the position, if it's on this side or on this side to show. So let's have it below the summary so that you can see it visibly here how it looks. And yeah, people can go on this checkout and add the car, add to car this bump offer into the whole checkout process. When you're ready, click on Save. And that's it. Well, let's not forget that you can also customize the styling of your whole solution. You can adjust how it looks, the whole pop-up area, and the, the whole checkout area, uh, how many steps you have. Let's say you want to have it in two steps instead of three steps. You can have it like this. And other settings about the looks, the feel, the colors, the fonts, you can customize absolutely everything the way you want. For example, the order summary, let's say you want to have it like a dark color instead of the white one and have the, the text in white. Here it is, how simple it is to customize that area as well. You can also add some more padding on the side. Uh, and lastly, if you want, you can go into the funnel, onto the checkout settings and there you can have different things such as disabling address when selling digital products. Like in our case, we don't want to collect the, let's say the address. Why do we need the address? We just need the customer information and the billing details. That's all we need. So you can enable this option for this example. And let's click on save. That's it. That's was how simple it was to actually add our products and create our bump offer. Before we go to the thank you page, we have another awesome thing that you can do, which is the one-click upsell and downsell. What is that? When somebody purchases this product from the checkout, they can be shown a different product that can be upsold right away and they can purchase it with single click without having to enter any additional information. So we selected here a pop-up pop -up as an upsell. Let's select the product, let's say the dummy product too. Here we can override the price and add other settings uh, and customize the, the whole thing. But let's just leave it as it is. And that's it. We can now customize this pop-up however we want. We can change you know, different things about it, just like another page. And here we can call it upsell. Click on save. And that's it. When somebody purchases, clicks on the purchase now, we'll purchase this product right away without any questions asked. And that's it. We added our bump offer, our product, and our upsell as a pop-up. And now lastly, the thank you page, which you can again fully customize however you like. Let's say you want to add a button to it as a call to action, so you can add a, a widget like that with this, whatever link you want. Let's say that you want to add some social media icons. You can add that as well. 
uh, again create some margins with your mouse so you can customize the whole process however you want it this is so so powerful made for conversions when ready click on save and lastly another few cool things that you can do with the funnels and the pages inside is the a b testing so if you want to create a different version of your product page for example you can do that by creating an a b test of your of your page it's so simple and you just few clicks away and now you have an A and a B version and it can be completely different so you can test all different things also for your checkout you can do it and you can see how that might you know change the conversion rates of your sales page that you have it's so so powerful and now when we're ready with this funnel that we are right now we can preview and actually see from a customer's perspective perspective how you can purchase a product and here it is our sales funnel and we can now actually start and test it out click on the button and it will go to the next step which is the checkout that we just created now here you have the bump offer so you can click on it and add it to your order now you can see on the side it shows the shipping address and this is because this is a physical product that we are uh, upselling with this bump offer so that's why it requires an address so if you remove it you will see that it does not require because we're selling a digital product now here we can add some information about us here in this case some dummy information we can continue and we can see a payment method is bank transfer which we enabled in our store now if you want again connect your stripe connect your paypal's and anything else that you want to collect the payments from and again you can see here that if we add again this bump offer it will ask for a shipping method so keep in mind if you're selling physical products you must create shipping methods otherwise you will not be able to collect payments and we can click on complete order the first thing that you see is the one click upsell so if you click now on this button it will purchase the product that we selected for the upsell right away no questions asked no information needs to be filled or you can click on no thanks and you know decline the upsell so let's click on purchase now that purchases this new product and you go to the thank you page that's it a super simple yet extremely powerful sales funnel now let's go inside our funnel and see information about the, the, the process and here you can see that we actually went to the B version so the, of the AB testing so as you can see it, it shows either A or B version which in our case is all the same but yes if you have AB testing about your page it will go either to A or B and you can see the conversion rates now you, here you have the sales you can see that information here you can see it on top as well you can click on the visitors to see uh, the, the traffic coming for this particular day you can see the sales happening uh, here as well you can see the upsells and downsells in this case we have an upsell uh, bump offer was not purchased so here it is 100 percent upsell success rate so you can see here the success rate of your of your upsells you can go to orders to see the actual order by clicking on it you can also see detailed information about it and because the upsell was an update of the order you can here have it as an upsell badge so you can know that this was an actually upsell product that was purchased then you have the products where you can see the product that you sold so yeah you can see the percentage of the revenue the unit sold, the orders etc and lastly you have the performers which is the person that purchases the product and the sources which in this case we don't have any sources of the traffic which allows you to track where people actually came from but we have a different video specially dedicated on traffic source uh, of your sales funnels so this is how simple it was to create our funnel and actually create a test purchase if you want to connect a, a domain to your funnel simply go to the settings domain and you can connect your custom domain from anywhere so this is how amazingly simple it is now if you go to the store you can also see information again about the, the sales everything that had, that has happened about the orders the, that uh, also happened the products if you were selling any subscription products you can actually see information about that here as well it's really really powerful about MRR and other cool information in this area you can create your discount codes if you want to run some kind of discounts just do it from the discount code area so these are some of the awesome things that you can do and sell in a one product sales funnel with bump offers and um, and one click of sales now we have other awesome things such as the crm the appointments the email marketing automations but check out our awesome videos in the channel so don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it subscribe to our channel for awesome new videos every week 
And yeah, leave a comment below. What do you think about the process with Simply on how you create sales funnels? Do you like it? And have you created and started your first funnel with us? Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. We created this funnel in less than 15 minutes with some customizations, creating of products. So it's super simple yet extremely powerful to uh, uplift your business with this amazing way of selling online, changing anything that you know. I mean, this converts so much better than any e-commerce store because of the no distractions, the full customization, the custom checkouts, the upsells, the downsells, all extremely powerful tools that you cannot have in any e-commerce stores. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, thumbs up if you like it and subscribe for our channel for awesome new videos. Cheers.